Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Ses Paracosm. Today I am in the city of Dalat, Vietnam, staying at a place called Sandy's Homestay. About to go adventuring with my friend here. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm Felipe from Costa Rica. We're about to go uh, check out some waterfalls here around the Dalat area and also probably go to like this specialty coffee farm that is very unique. So, uh, time to get the day started. On the way to the waterfall, we had to stop off at the Vietnamese pharmacy because I have a pretty gnarly cut on the bottom of my foot and a burn from the motorbike on the back of my leg and they're both infected. So I had to come get some medicine here. Uh, what I got is like the Vietnamese version, but I don't know where it says on here. Uh, on the tablets though, it just says amoxicillin. So that's what it is, just the standard thing to like antibiotic to fight infection that you would get in the United States too. So, Seth's phone uh, fall, so he needed to break away. It's okay, the phone is okay. Phone, it's okay? Yeah, it didn't break because I have this good case, otherwise it probably would have been screwed. <laughs> when it fell, it like almost landed in my lap like it usually does. It was like the last day when it's been falling off and then it started like bouncing and I like Ooh. accidentally kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We just arrived here at the entrance to Elephant Falls. It's like a popular waterfall to come to here in Dalat. It was like 40 minute drive through the mountains from the city of Dalat and it was 20,000 Vietnamese dong to get in. So like a little bit less than $1 US to get in and check out the falls. Uh, time to go see what this waterfall looks like though. I can hear the water falling from walking up to it. We just finished up at Elephant Falls. It was pretty awesome. The waterfall is like full force since it's the rainy season here in Dalat right now. And my jacket and pants got pretty soaked from the spray of the waterfall because it was so heavy, but it was totally worth it. <laughs> Super cool. So next we are going to a waterfall that's supposed to be the best in Dalat called Pong Wah Waterfall. But on the way there, I think we're probably gonna stop in a small village and get some lunch, maybe some fruit on the way. We just stopped for lunch here and grabbed a nice bowl of pho with some beef and you get all these fresh herbs and chili and lime with it too. It's only like a dollar pretty much for this bowl of uh, noodle soup, so that's awesome. So we're about halfway to the next waterfall from where we just were and now we'll be going down like all back mountain roads to get the rest of the way there. So it should be a good adventure to get there after this. Yo, we are just getting ready to leave the pho place and the neighbor came and got his pet owl out. I don't know if you can see it right here in the tree. It's huge. Look at those bright yellow eyes. Dang, dude, this thing is sweet. So we have just arrived here at Pongor Waterfall. Uh, it was a pretty interesting drive to get out here. We had to go through some super muddy back roads, but it was really fun. Added some uh, good to the adventure. It was great. So now we are here. The entrance fee was uh, 25,000 total for my ticket, Felipe's ticket, and the motorbike parking. So you can get uh, two people and park a motorbike for like a dollar. Come see the waterfall. It's supposed to be like the best waterfall that's in the lot too, so should be pretty beautiful. We just finished up our adventure at Pongwar Waterfall. It was really cool. Definitely a massive, awesome waterfall. 
to check out when you're in Dalat, Vietnam. So now we are about 40 kilometers probably outside of the city and we're gonna head back to the city of Dalat to do some adventuring there. Right now we are at a specialty weasel poop coffee farm which is a specialty coffee they make here in Dalat. The coffee that they grow can only grow in this climate up here in the mountains in Dalat. It's the only place in Vietnam where it can grow at and they harvest the red coffee beans from October through January when the beans turn from green to red and become ripe and then after that they feed the beans to the weasels and the weasels uh, eat the whole coffee bean and they can't digest the uh, small part of the bean that's actually like the coffee bean that you make your coffee with so it comes out in their poop and the enzymes in the weasels stomachs will change the um, flavor of the coffee it will reduce the caffeine the lady said and add some sweetness to it and then they collect the poop and let it ferment for like six months uh, before they sort out the coffee beans and then clean them and you make coffee with it and it's all completely organically grown coffee here should be super good so now we are probably going to order a cup and try some of this coffee here's a little view of what the coffee looks like after it has been through the weasel's stomach and pooped out and fermented and cleaned off. Oh, so the water's raising yeah, yeah. up. Okay. The boiling water's raising up this tube and gonna mix in with the coffee. Mm. Yeah, you can see it's slowly starting to Now you can see the coffee mixing back down into this, back down into where it started at. Feels like we're doing a science project here. Okay, we mixed it two times. Oh, you mix it twice. Yeah. Alrighty, that's my cup of weasel poop coffee. I'm gonna try this out, here we go. It's probably super hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Should I wait till it cools off? Okay, wait. Okay, okay. here we go. No sugar, no milk. Pure coffee, here we go. And tea. Ah, thank you. Mm. Interesting. It's really strong. Like black coffee. Yeah, it has a really good taste. It's pretty good. That's cool. We just finished our uh, cup of weasel coffee, which was absolutely delicious. And now we are about to go watch them feed the weasels. They only feed them bananas, chicken noodle soup, and uh, coffee beans uh, because the bananas and chicken noodle soup won't change the flavor of the coffee. So that's kind of an interesting fact. But yeah, we're gonna go watch them feed the weasels now. Quick, gotta get in here. Here he comes, coming after the nanners. So this weasel is from Indonesia. Yes. And then where are the ones on the other side from? Vietnam. Vietnam, okay, interesting. Yeah, definitely if you ever find yourself in Dalat, Vietnam, I would recommend coming and checking this place out. It's got an overall really chilled out, cool vibe. The place is like uh, decorated pretty cool with like tons of flowers and a lounge area. And then just a nice place bar over here to sit and drink your coffee. It's a pretty cool spot. The Weasel Coffee was 100,000 dong for a cup, so it was like around $4 US, which is a little more expensive than uh, most coffee in Vietnam, but uh, the process and how long it takes to make it and the limited quantities of it is the reason why it's that price, so it's totally worth it. Uh, so yeah, if you ever find yourself in Dalat, come check out the Weasel Coffee Farm. After 
after the coffee farm, we came and got a banh mi, which is like a Vietnamese sub, and they're only 10,000 dong each, which is like less than 50 cents for a sub sandwich. The first banh mi was so delicious that we decided to get a second one and come and enjoy it by the lake out here. There's a pretty big lake, as you can see, right in the middle of the city of Dalat, and it's a popular place to come hang out and relax at. It's a nice view, pretty relaxing. You can still hear like the uh, cars and everything around the outskirts, but it's okay. It's still nice to just come and relax by the lake for a bit. Felipe and I just got back to Sandy's homestay a little bit ago. I just took a shower and now I'm cleaning out my wounds. I had like four infected cuts total, which I've never had one in my life till now. And then I just got four all like in a matter of a couple days. I think it's because I cut them all when I was uh, swimming in the salt water so much at Life's a Beach. And uh, I heard that warm salt water harvest bacteria. So I just think it got like all my cuts infected all at once. I had a... Uh, one right here and right here and they both pretty much just looked like giant pimples full of infected pus and then i had a good size one on the bottom of my foot here i got that one uh climbing up some walls on the ocean side to uh cliff jump and cut it on some barnacles and then i also have this one right here which is from uh burning it on the exhaust pipe on my motorbike so hopefully get all these taken care of got some antibiotics to take and then iodine to clean out the cuts with so hopefully those will be better in the next few days